Alright, so in this video we'll be going through the Pikmin 3 Deluxe demo and giving my thoughts around it. Alright, so before we dive into the demo, as uh, so I played this, I I think I got to the end of it, I believe. It's just the first boss is all the demo is. And so this is the first time I've ever played a Pikmin game, and I'm starting on 3. I, I really want to go back and get them on the GameCube for 1 and 2, and then maybe 3 on the Wii U since I'm collecting for that anyways. So I thought I'd check it out. Uh, you also get a mode unlock just by doing the demo, so I thought I would do that. So this is the demo, you don't get all the stuff because you haven't hit a certain point in the story, like right here, the side st stories apparently doesn't unlock until you get to a certain point in the story mode, but same thing with this, or you know, you need two players for bingo. Okay, never played, like I said, but you also got the Nintendo eShop button so that you can go and buy the game if you're gonna buy it digitally, but I'm gonna buy it physically, I'll get it at the end of the month. and. You got missions you can go through, and you got stories. Missions are just from the story, at least for right now. I'm not sure if they unlock more things as you'll actually play through it, but... So, you can see here, I played it on hard. And I can go back in days. So let's go ahead and do day two. So it's cool, you can play each day back. I didn't actually know that. I saw something to do with that, but I didn't realize that's what that was. And so you start in the ship. Pikmin game, if you ever played any, I'm sure this is a lot like that. Let me know down in the comments. Is this different than other Pikmin games or like the originals? I would love to know that. I would love to know you guys' feedback on Pikmin 3. Is it the best one? Is it the worst one? Is it the best one for me to get into right now? Should I play the other ones first? I will let, gladly do that if I have to. Or if you guys think it's recommended. So we'll just skip through all the story stuff so you guys don't get spoiled too much. I try not to spoil too much in videos, but let's see. So you go around and you're collecting fruit and you're collecting different materials to make either juice for uh, surviving each day or in the case of other things, you get pigment through them. So like this flower right here that you see with a number one on it, as soon as I can skip through all this. I chose a, a weird day since it teaches you a little bit. Let's skip. Ah, there you go. So here you can... Get your Pikmin like that. And then you can sit here and... Throw one. And they'll bring back this guy. Little flower. To... Get the Pikmin in the ground and then you pluck them. It's a cool concept and then the Pikmin can actually do things for you. So like there's a monster right there and I can throw a bunch at him and they kill him and they'll return him. You got pieces of bridge right here that will just send as many to help as possible. And the other extra will come back. We will throw one to him. And we'll go with our Pikmin for that guy. And they built part of the bridge over there. So they pretty much do things for you. It's kind of weird that you're making other little guys do things for you. I wonder if the first game explains this a little bit better. This didn't explain too much. Like, they just met them and then they started doing stuff for them. It wasn't too much, you know, explained on why. You can call them back with a whistle. You can grab those guys like I was doing before. Get some more of them. I don't think you can use... Yeah. They don't like water, so you, if you go in the water... They don't like water. And all you gotta do is call, call them back. Throw that guy back on there. And it's kind of like a puzzle game, I believe. So there are some puzzle aspects that I've done where building the bridge is kind of a puzzle. You gotta find all the puzzle pieces, right? And you, they'll break down walls and you gotta have different pigment for different walls as they break these down. And the more you add to it, the faster this will process will go. There's other people in the crew that you get later on in the story and they help you get different places as well because they both 
then both of the characters can um, use the Pikmin. And pretty much the whole story so far is these guys change with a flower. I, I don't think I got to a point where you, that actually matters yet. I haven't found a reason to do that. Uh, it does change them, I assume, at some point. There'll be a reason on why they need to be that, but you just throw a bunch of them. This is the rest of the bridge pieces. You find these little notes or other guys that uh, will help uh, explain the game for you. Uh, key thing when you're plucking, you don't have to pluck each one. I didn't realize that. That, that might just be because I'm new to the series. I'm sure that that would be explained a little bit better. I haven't attacked. Oh, you can take a butterfly and get Pikmin out of it. Interesting. I didn't know that. I get one Pikmin. And so, like I said before, you have to have a special type of Pikmin to get through the glass. So this guy just won't help. And he's like, yeah. Throwing him at the wall, not working. So. At some point, we'll find another Pikmin, but I won't go too deep for you guys. So you have, uh. You find a little tablet thing that he uses for the map, gives you the map, um, you get different types of uh, notes for the Pikmin, what they are, each, you know, life, uh, controls to help you out with controls, you got different um, enemies that will attack you. I have more than you, you will at the beginning of the demo, but this is all of them for the whole demo. And then Pikmin info, how many are idle, how many are in the squad, and how many are working. And then you can do a camera, but I, I didn't use that. And you got a little mini map in the corner and some other HUD details and you got hints. So I think so far I am enjoying playing Pikmin. I actually played through this in about a day. It was a blast to play through. I didn't find it too hard, even though I'm on the hard difficulty. I think that's because there's another difficult that you unlock on this, which is like ultra hard or something like that. Um, I think that'll make it more interesting to play. Hopefully I can just swap to that mid game. I actually don't know if I can do that in the demo. Let's go ahead and go in the settings. Nope. But I know that um, once the game is actually released, the save file will be transferred over to the actual game and you get to unlock that special play mode but i'm very curious on if i have to restart and just do the first part again or how that works um hopefully that's not too complicated if it's just like switching this playthrough to another difficulty or not let me know down in the comments if you guys know i assume this play mode was on the original game but Mostly, I am excited to actually play through the game and be able to experience Pikmin since I enjoyed this first little what, demo or five days or whatever it is for the first boss. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think about Pikmin. Uh, if you guys played the demo, let me know what you guys think of that. I very much enjoyed it and recommend it if you have a Switch and the demo is free. So we'll go ahead and pick it up and see if you guys like Pikmin. And like this video if you liked it, dislike if you don't, hit the subscribe button and then turn bell notification on so you get notified when we upload new videos. Uh, I stream on Twitch. I'm going to start doing streams with my wife and so you guys can go check that out and we'll play different types of games and, and have fun with her trying to figure out games. So, and there's also links down in the description for merch, Twitter, uh, like I said, Twitch already, and a bunch of other links you guys can go check out down in the description. And Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.